We were flying from uh, California to Honolulu, and this is like a quick turnaround. No hotel check-in or anything. You're going to fly in, spend the day at the beach, shower up, go to the building, wrestle, go to the airport, and red eye out. And so we're flying during the day, but on those flights, it's like a seven-hour flight. Uh, they'll feed you, then they tell everybody to put their window shades down, and the plane's completely dark, and everybody goes to sleep because it's such a long flight. Well, I was up in the first class. I'd gotten bumped up, and I was traveling with Bossman, Ray Trailer. And during the flight, I'm I'm not sleeping. I'm thinking, well, how can we, you know, the last thing you want to do is mill around the airport or, you know, be at the last of the line to get your rental car or whatever. So in my head, I'm thinking, I'll, I'll jump right off the plane and go get the rental car. Ray, you go to the baggage claim, pick up the bags, and I'll pick you up and we can get out of there. So I'm going back, and I'm looking. I had seen Mel get on the plane earlier. And he comes on and walks past. And then, you know, a couple of younger kids come on, you know, and it, 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 like it was one of those things that didn't connect in your brain. They look very young, but you're thinking, well, they can't be, you know, being flown around the country. But, you know, the parents must know where they are or they're older and just look younger, you know. And so I get on, you know, during the flight, the shades are all down. It's pitch black. So I'm going back trying to find Ray and, you know, dark so i'm like sort of like really wins see now if mel had just closed his eyes i would have been paying attention but as i walked by ray was sitting right behind him as i walked by i stopped and what caught my attention was he was looking at me like this like, kind of blank and pulled away he's going stare like just staring at me I mean, why is he staring at me like that you know I'm like frozen there for a second then underneath the blanket i see something going up and down i was like what the Fuck. Seriously, dude? Like, what the fuck? And as I said, if he just closed his eyes, I wouldn't even pay attention. But it, 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 him staring at me like that made me stop and like stare for a minute. And I saw this. And years later at the ECW arena, uh, there was a kid that was setting the ring up. And he, there was something scratching my brain. I knew this kid somehow. And I thought he went down and was, hey, man, what's your name? I know you, don't I? And he ran out of the building and I never saw him again. Uh, you know, that, that those monsters would do that to children. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff to children. Uh, and do it so openly. You know, you're, you're on a plane with 300 other people. Um, it's, you know, you wonder if those are the things that you're looking at and you're seeing, you know, here and there in that, you know, when you're in that company. You then have to wonder, like, every night you're in a hotel, what's going on in this building? You know, like what, who's in what room doing what, you know, and, and like you said, when you're in a company, any kind of company today, when, especially a company that's so, uh, how do I say this? So uh, visual, you know, it's so visible to the outside world uh, because of the nature of what it is that, you know, you, if I'm here and I'm the, at the peak of that chart, and you're in that company that look at the Amy Massaro story, right? I mean, this that is uh, Ashley, Ashley Massaro, or I'm sorry, yeah, Ashley Massaro. Uh, it, that is a dereliction of duty at the highest degree. I, I, that that something that awful could happen to one of your employees, and you somehow scrape it under the rug. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. And then oh, we'll sorry. Have... They, they 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 left her there as well with uh, no chaperone. Yes. So all the rest of the WWE people left to wherever they were going, and then left her there for a day or two later. Yeah, I, I would so, dare yeah. say that if that was Stephanie, they would have gotten her a private plane and gotten her out of there, uh, as they damn well should have for for uh, for her as well. You know, it's again you hear these stories afterwards, and then like with what that young mother had to contend with. And ultimately ended up doing uh, unforgivable. I mean, that that's that, again the stain on our business. You know, all this talking about you know every uh, Shane's always talking about the dirt of the business. Uh, the reason I do that is because I want to clean this business up. There is no reason an industry this large, employing this many people, making this much money, should or could even be conducted in this way. Uh, I'm sure Endeavor is taking great steps. I would hope uh, they're taking great steps to to clean that up and ensure that that never happens to anybody ever again. But uh, you know, it, it's it, you know, it's like walking into a restaurant and seeing somebody puke onto the table and say, "Okay, well, let's come and eat now." 
you know, that, that it's that kind of feeling about my industry. It, I, it, I, there's such a, a sense of awe of the industry. But then you hear these stories and it somehow just stains it up, you know, and, and uh, much against, I would say, 99% of the, uh, sorry, my phone. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, our industry, like I said, is, is in need of a reinvigoration, a kick in the ass, and a, a stopping of shit like this. 